In Portsmouth, the Coast Guard has a warning for everyone. They're sending their ships out to sea ahead of the storm. That means you need to stay off the water during the storm. 13 News Now reporter Matt Gregory is live in Portsmouth tonight. And Matt, what are they getting done now? Yeah, well, some of the things they're getting done tonight, David, is that they're actually batting down their own hatches as they put the turn. They were actually securing most of their ships. If you look out over the Elizabeth River tonight, it's actually a picturesque night. Other than this high wind that's coming through, the river doesn't look like it's doing too much, but that's going to change over the next 24 to 48 hours, and that's why the Coast Guard is issuing one major order for everyone. Stay off the water. They need to stay off the water and I'll repeat they need to stay off the water. That's a direct order from Coast Guard Captain Kevin Carroll as Hurricane Dorian heads towards Portsmouth. We are going to feel the effects of this storm. Now, Captain Carroll is adamant about this point because the Coast Guard sent their search and rescue assets to safer harbors. So the best thing for boat owners to do is to dock them. Secure all lost all articles on board and make sure that the vessel is tied up appropriately. Now over at the Tidewater Yacht Marina in Portsmouth, owners seem to have gotten that message. Well, I've, I've doubled up in all my dock lines, got the, all the canvas work tied up so I can't get blown away. Eric Mathern has kept his boat, the TARDIS, in the marina for more than a decade, so he's used to getting ready for these September storms. A couple of years ago for, for Sandy, we had water that was probably up to the middle rail on this dock here, but see, all these docks float, so they just come up, they'll rise with the tide. Now, despite that experience and the confidence, he knows there is only one thing left after securing the boats. And made sure that my insurance paid up. <laughs> And I'll talk with the Coast Guard while they did say that their search and rescue assets are not in the area you heard up in the James River. They're up in Annapolis as well. They said when they are finished with this storm, when the storm has moved through, they'll be able to recall those search and rescue assets pretty quickly. So one of the things to keep in mind tonight and throughout the next 24, like I was saying, to 48 hours as this storm comes up the coast, stay out of the water, stay away from the water. Uh, it cannot lead to anything positive as you see Hurricane Dorian coming our way. For now in Portsmouth, I'm Matt Gregory. Back to you. All right, Norfolk-based Navy ships also got underway ahead of Dorian. Sailors and pilots left Norfolk this morning. Some ships are staying here because they're undergoing maintenance, but the Navy's taking extra steps to secure them too. The move keeps all of the equipment and people safe from the storm and also ready to respond if needed. At Langley Air Force Base, the F-22 Raptors and T-38 Talons took off this morning. They moved to Ohio to ride out the storm there.